and welcome to the Maples Group's fourth Bringing You Closer Inside View from recognised CLO industry experts. For those who don't know me, my name is James Reeve and I'm a partner in the finance team at Maples based here in the Cayman Islands and member of our global CLO team. I'm delighted and honoured to be joined today by Marco Archer and Eva Holt of the Cayman Islands Stock Exchange. Marco is CEO and Eva is Head of Listings and they have both very kindly agreed to join me to discuss the merits of the exchange for CLO issuers and very importantly to announce some developments at the exchange in the ESG space. Uh, Marco and Eva, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. Thank you very much, James. Thank you, James. We very much appreciate this opportunity. So let's jump straight to those new developments. I'm sure everyone's eager to uh, hear more. Marco, perhaps you could start by telling us the big announcement. Yes, James, the Cayman Island Stock Exchange has established a, a separate market segment for ESG investments, which is called the CSX ESG market. As you know, James, the CSX is a responsive, pragmatic and flexible exchange. And we have created a new market in response to the trends, uh, global trends towards uh, ESG focused uh, investments and, and products. That's fantastic. ESG is uh, certainly a hot topic and an ever evolving uh, area of interest to, to many, including the US CELO market, of course. In that regard, Eva, perhaps you could explain how you envisage the ESG market might benefit our CELO manager clients. In 2013, the Cayman Lions Stock Exchange had devised specialist listing rules for admission of a clean technology companies. And now our expanded ESG segment offers the comprehensive listing platform for sustainable debt financings. We recognize the need for investors and the companies to manage climate risks and to create impact has become ever more important. With sustainable finance gathering momentum, the Cayman Line Stock Exchange is seeking to play a greater role in the financing of sustainable future. Thanks, Eva. And of course, uh, the exchange has been utilized extensively over the years together with the Irish Stock, uh, Stock Exchange as one of the preferred uh, exchanges for the listing of CLO securities. So how would an issuer or security qualify for listing on this new ESG market segment? There are two ways in which an issuer or security can qualify for the Cayman Line Stock Exchange ESG market. It might be done either by framework or by rating. If by framework it's uh, either an issuer's business or that of its wider group or the use of proceeds from raised by the issuance of securities has been verified as having an ESG uh, positive impact and purpose by an appropriate independent party against a recognized framework and if by rating the issuer's business or, or its group can, has been positively rated by an independent um, party. That's great. So fundamentally, I think the, the real focus is on independently verified ESG compliance and, and compatibility with recognized frameworks as being really the key to a successful acceptance to listing on the ESG market. So uh, Marco, could you give us a sense of what the exchange views as some of the key uh, advantages of the new ESG market? Absolutely, James. Uh, we are indeed excited by what this market can offer to issuers and investors. And uh, some of the key advantages include, number one, the CSX ESG market covers a full suite of asset classes and instrument types, ranging from plain vanilla bonds to more complex instruments such as the asset-backed securities. And uh, in addition, it helps to deliver a broad sustainable finance platform for issuers and investors. Also, the CSX ESG market is open to issuers from any jurisdiction. And the securities admitted to the CSX ESG market are subject to international standards in order to enhance investor confidence in the level of disclosure related to their sustainability frameworks and reporting. Also, the CSX ESG market offers issuers the opportunity to display key documents such as external reviews, sustainability frameworks, and annual sustainability reports on their dedicated profiles. The CSX will also accept external reviews consistent with the International Capital Markets Guidelines for external reviews. And finally, um, no additional charges, uh, there are no additional charges for admission 
uh, to the CSX ESG market or for maintaining a presence on the CSX ESG market. Fantastic. Well, very interesting developments indeed. And no doubt uh, many of our readers will be keen to learn more. Enormous thanks, Marco and Eva. It's been lovely speaking with you both and we're grateful to the Cayman Island Stock Exchange for sharing this announcement and some insights into CLO market trends and benefits of the exchange to the US CLO market. For a copy of our full roundtable discussion, please click the link below. And as always, don't hesitate to reach out to me or to any other member of the global CLO team if you should have any questions at all. Thanks very much. Thank you.